Hey everyone, I'm going to take you on a little tour of my work area. This is it. It's just a little, tiny little kitchen table. And this is the mat that I use in my tutorials, but this isn't where I film them. I film them over here at my coffee table. And you can't really see, but that's where I sit outside when I film my outside videos. That's my cat Simba. And... Now this is just my little work area, and let me see, I'll start with my clay. This is my unopened clay. The reason I have so much is because it was on sale for half off the other day at Joann's, so I already had a lot, but I got a lot more. And this is how I store my opened clay, just a container. And I have all of the clay in baggies. Like here's Cheshire Cat. It's scrap clay. I didn't end up baking that for my tutorial. So yeah, all my open clay is in here in baggies so that it doesn't dry out or get mixed up. Let's stick those back on there. Um, see, I have my micro marbles here. And this little cabinet is sort of a mess. I'm going to try to show you that in the tripod. I'll try to show you what's in it. In this bottom drawer I just keep like um, this little thing that measures how much clay you have, little rhinestones. Um, here's my little graphics for Harry Potter books. My Starbucks labels. Trash. Um, I don't know why these are in here. I have no idea. Cotton balls. So it's just like pretty much any kind of paper address labels for shipping. This drawer is sort of tools. Pick this up. I do not want this anymore. I'm not a fan of Sculpey Glaze at all, so there's not much left. So I should probably throw that away. Um, this has a few tools in it. This little container. But here's most of the tools that I use. The measuring spoons, um, extruder. The extruder parts are in here somewhere. There's some little pliers that I use. Um, yeah, cookie cutters. Here's my blades. My boyfriend gave me those so I can cut the clay with. Um, let me see. I'll shut this thing. I really need to organize this thing. Um, here's some of my glitter. Here's my acrylic roller. And I have some baggies in here. My other extruder part. Cell phone straps that I just got. Some paint brushes in there too. In this drawer I just have the uh, pastels. And there's two tubes of this in here. The other one's buried in the back. And some beads. This top is sort of like when I'm working on something and I just want to clean it up like just for a day until I use it again. I put everything up here. So some tape I used for shipping. I have some chain. Some pearls. Um, these are from a tutorial I just worked on. I have Christmas ornament hooks and these, you can see this little rack. Um, this is where I hang my charms to dry and I use Christmas ornament hooks to do that. It's being held up by this change jar until I figure out some kind of better way to do it. This little container up here is where I keep my findings. I got this container on a trade with Go Crazy for Play. She sent it to me. And it just has, um, you know, your basic eye pin, head pins, and here's some little charms that I'm working on necklaces for. Earring posts, all that stuff. Yeah, so that's where I keep my tools. And then on this side, I have like all my paint, um, some different kinds of glue. Here's clay softener, which I never thought I would ever need, but... Oh, it has saved me a lot of headaches because clay gets rock solid and I have cold hands, so 
My boyfriend has to do it for me half the time. Triple Thick Glaze, which is my all-time favorite now. And these are a custom order I'm working on for somebody on Etsy. And I need to find a place to keep my molds because I just tried these recently and I really, really like flexible molds now, so I have to find a way to keep those, store them. And these are some charms I just made a couple of days ago. I glazed them, so I'm putting them up here. Um, here's some Hunger Games books. I made like a million of these little waffle things, all different kinds. My unicorn, robots, and teddy bear. And over here, there's still some boxes. That's all from my yard sale that I had. But here's a quick look at the bookshelf. But over here on the bookshelf is where I keep, like, here's a bunch of charms that I'm selling. And here's some. I'm selling these samples of... Sculpey Mold Maker in my Etsy shop for $1.99, so that's pretty cheap. And, let's see, here's just some things I'm working on. I have, I can't really tell what that is, little chocolate bar, cabotons. And, there is, oh, a container that has some books that I'm working on and I made these little Nintendo controllers that I'm selling on Etsy. I just have to put the image on these books. And in this container I have Barbie toys which I'm using for a project. And this is full of charms that I've made. So think you've seen about everything so please comment rate subscribe and if you want to see anything else just let me know thank you for watching bye